guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are new to the channel if you've joined the channel recently in the last day couple of days or so a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel and if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session uh, which is a regain your power or stand in your power as a divine feminine then you can contact me via my email or my website or my details are in the description box below so earlier i did a message that was for the divine masculines for any divine masculines who may come across this video or watch the channel you know it is a message to help to give them power as well on their journey and this video is for uh, like a general energy check-in as we are about to move into the weekend to see what's going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines and you know yesterday i did a couple of videos a shorter one that was a divine feminine power message to help you to really sort of stand in your power as well you know because i really feel guided because this is something that i'm really being shown that it, i am here to do to help others to stand in their power so do check out that message if you haven't seen it it will really help you as well on your journey as a divine feminine it's a short one it was only about four minutes and then um and then there was a powerful pick a pile as well that had some really beautiful messages for all the three piles, you know, talking about what's going on on your journey with your divine masculine and also some messages from your divine masculine. So do check that out as well. So we are going to bring in a few decks and today I'm going to do um, two, two separate tarot decks. So for the divine masculines, I'm going to use um, the crystal unicorn tarot and for the divine feminines, I'm going to use the light seers tarot just to do it a bit different to see what messages are coming through so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines as we on this day what is happening with the divine masculines while wow, really jumping out what is going on with the divine masculines okay so a few cards have jumped out here for the divine masculines and then thank you angels what is happening with the divine feminines what is going on with the divine feminines thank you angels what is happening with the divine feminines what else is going on with the divine feminines thank you angels say anything else for the divine feminines right okay so let's see what has come out for the divine masculines here so a few cards have come out right so the first card that i'm seeing here is the ten of swords and the ten of swords really is about that sort of reaching the end of a cycle you know it's like you can see those swords are in on that in in that unicorn and you know it's sort of like you know the reaching the end of a cycle and time coming in for a change you know it's like a time of that uh leaving the past behind as well and moving into a new cycle so this is showing that the divine masculines are sort of getting to the end of a cycle so that they can really start to move on towards a new cycle in their life that they are really wanting as well for themselves and the next card that has come out is the three of swords and this is about sort of separation and it's really interesting that this card has come out as well for the divine masculines because in in the video that i did for divine masculines there was a card of separation that has come out so this is about that pain showing that the divine masculines are feeling that pain of that loss of not having their divine feminine the pain of the separation and i did a video last week which was a message coming through from the divine masculine a message in music about the pain that they feel inside even though they may not show it on the outside world so this is that pain this is showing that they go through that pain of missing their divine feminine as well during this time of separation and the next card that came out is the empress card so you know this is the divine masculines thinking of their divine feminine you know they see you as their empress the divine feminine and you know they really want to be with you so they are missing you this is the message that's coming through here they are missing you and they're thinking about you as their empress and they know they want to be with their divine feminine with their empress and the next card that came out is the three of wands and this is all about that sort of planning and you know sort of moving forward it's like they've made a decision and they're sort of planning you know looking in the distance as that unicorn is doing there looking in the distance with that ship sort of coming in so they are sort of planning on how to move forward you know they know they miss their divine feminine they know they want to be with their empress they are also going through this time of reaching the end of the cycle of the life that they've always lived 
as they go through this time of rebirth, as, as they go through the awakening. So they are now planning of how to move forward towards that new life, that life that they truly desire. So this is about them making plans, you know, of the changes that they need to bring in their own lives as well, so that they can be able to move forward towards their divine feminine, towards their empress as well. And the next card that came out for the Divine Masculine, so the next card is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, you can see that that is all about that, like, sort of feeling like they're being tra they're trapped. So there is that feeling of being trapped. You can, you can see the unicorn with the legs and the eyes sort of covered as well. That's that feeling of being trapped. You know, they are sort of in this place of planning or trying to see how to move forward, but they may be feeling trapped in the situations that they're in, like the way hasn't quite opened up yet for them to be able to move forward towards their divine feminine. They may also be feeling trapped in their own fears as well, which are things that they need to release to be able to move forward towards that life that they truly desire. So there is that feeling of being trapped as well going on with the divine masculine. And then there's the five of swords, which is also about loss as well. So they are are feeling like you know there is some loss as well that is happening in their life they are missing their divine feminine and the next card that has come out here let's see is the justice card so this is showing you that you know justice is coming in balance you can see that unicorn has got those scales balance is coming in fairness is coming in to help the divine masculines to move forward towards that life that they truly desire their people sort of are letting off fireworks uh, outside and so justice is coming in for the divine masculines and then the next cards that came out is the two of pentacles and this is about balance so they are also working on finding balance in their own life you know this is them working on finding balance within themselves and in everything that is going on in their life so they are sort of in this place of finding balance and you know there's two cards that are really that's the scales as well which is all about balance and you know this is about them finding balance in their own life so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they truly desire and the light just keep changing on this um and then the next card that came out is uh the six of pentacles which is about giving and receiving and this is also about balance as well so there is this need for balance that is really coming in for the divine masculine you know during this time of separation they're also learning that you know being with their divine feminine is about equal giving and receiving so they are learning to be in this place of giving and receiving and again the balance the scales have come out here and you know we are in this energy of libra as well which is all about balance. So, you know, there is a lot of this energy that is helping the divine masculines to get more into this place of balance. And, you know, we had the Libra new, new moon um, a few days, a couple of days ago, and that is all about bringing in the balance. So there's a lot of that that is going on for the divine masculines right now. And the next card that came out is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is all about sort of like reminiscing, thinking about the past. So they are thinking about the past you know the times that they've shared with you their divine feminine but this is also about the past coming back so you know this is sort of your divine masculine coming back towards you their divine feminine this is what they want to do as they think of you their divine feminine their empress they want to be able to come back and offer you that cup of that love that they have for you so this is showing you that it came out for the divine masculines they are that past that is going to come back to you their divine feminine to give you that cup of that love you know they just need to get into that place of feeling more balanced in themselves of letting go of the fears that are they that they and situations that they may be feeling trapped in and re so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they truly desire. And when they are in this place, they are the fool. You know, they are just going to take that leap of faith into their new beginnings. They are going to take that leap of faith towards their divine feminine as well. So this is showing that new beginnings are coming in for the divine masculines and they are going to take that leap of faith towards that life that they truly desire because in this life that they're having a 
according to these cards, they are feeling that sadness, they are feeling that loss, you know, they're feeling that they are missing their divine feminine and they want to move forward towards new beginnings. They want to move forward towards that life that they truly desire and they are reaching the end of a cycle that is going to help them to take that leap of faith towards the life that's the, their new life and that will be the life with their divine feminine as well. So there will be that past that is coming back because they want to take that leap of faith and they will take that leap of faith to their new beginnings. So those are the cards that came out for the Divine Masculines, powerful cards. And then for the Divine Feminine, so let's see, let's turn these round to try and make a sense of what's going on here. So the first card that has come out for the Divine Feminine, so let's see, which one shall we start with? So the first card that has come out is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is all about... Um, you know, the, the, you can see that Divine Masculine there is sort of sitting there holding the roses and, you know, there's a little letter there. So this is about them wanting to move forward with the message of that love and also to give you that love that they they have to tell you of how they truly feel. So this is about your Divine Masculine sort of wanting to move forward. They're sort of still sitting down there, you know, that Knight of Cups sort of still sitting down, not quite moving forward yet because they are in this planning mode. But, you know, this is what they want to do to be able to move forward towards you, give you the roses, give you an offer of something, showing you the love that they have for you. And they're also writing that letter as well to be able to give that to you. So this is about that love that your divine masculine would like to express to you. And then the next card that came out for the Divine Feminine is uh, the Seven of Wands. And this is also about sort of like this sort of defensive, you know, you may really be in your power and being quite defensive in, in, this, in the way that you are sort of really just focusing on you right now. You know, you know that it is all about doing the things that you want to do for your life. So you are sort of really focused on yourself and you're not letting any of the negativity come in you are protecting yourself being defensive to people who may try and come in to try and bring you fear or negativity so you are sort of you know really sort of knowing yourself as a divine feminine you know you are on your spiritual path you are sort of shining your light as well you know and you are in this place of really knowing yourself and you are sort of sitting there and you know sort of being in this place of being defensive against anything that takes you away from your your inner peace so that's the message that's coming through here and then the next card that came out for the divine feminine is the ace of swords and this is about decisions so there may be certain decisions that you need to make in your life as well divine feminine to help you to move forward on your journey so these may be decisions about certain things that you need to change in your own life to help your journey to move forward and the next card that came out is the Nine of Cups. And this is showing you that your wishes are coming true. So the wishes that you're setting out to the universe, the angels are showing you here that they are coming true and you are going to jump with happiness. You know, as all those cups sort of start coming to you, of all the things that you desire, including that love as well with your divine masculine who is really wanting to move forward towards you, their empress. So this is showing you that the, your wishes are coming true and, you know, everything is going to sort of come in at the same time as well for you. And, you know, and you will be jumping with joy as well. And the next card that came out is the 10 of pentacles, which is really beautiful. You know, so as your wishes come true, this is about you having the happy home, you know, the abundance all the things that you desire the family you know just having that life that you truly desire so the angels are showing you that the life that you desire is coming in it's about you trusting and having faith and continuing to be in this place of finding that inner peace that was shown by that seven of wands you know sort of sort of defending yourself from anything that tries to come in to disturb your peace to disturb you as you know the person that you are now and continuing being standing strong on your path and standing strong in the things that you believe in as well and then the next card that came out is the hang the hanged man so you know there may be some necessary delays 
when it comes to your journey, you know, delays in relation to your divine masculine actually moving forward towards you to tell you how they feel. So these may be delays that are happening to help them to release that fear. You know, there was that card about the Eight of Swords where they are feeling trapped in their own mind, in the fears, you know, being held back by the fears, even though in their heart they truly want to move forward towards you to give you that message of that love that they have for you. But they are sort of still dealing with certain things. They are still planning. There's still all these things going on with the divine masculines. And that is what is causing, that's that's why this energy of the hanged man has come out. Because they are still necessary delays that are happening to help them to get to where they truly need to be first to be with you. But these are also necessary delays that are helping, that are coming in for you to make certain decisions in your life. For you to leave certain situations that really are sort of in the way of you sort of getting together as well with your divine masculine so the the necessary delays that are happening are to help both of you to get to where you are truly meant to be and then the next card that came out for the divine feminine is the queen of wands and this is about you know that fire and passion and that dedication that you have as the divine feminine on this journey you know you know that you truly want that life and you are dedicated to your journey you are sort of standing in your power as well and you know you have that fire and passion to keep moving forward that love is one that passion towards your divine masculine and you know and you are actually realizing that you know you can see uh, that divine feminine there sort of celebrating that's another card of celebration and you know sort of that light coming through from your hands so you are realizing that you are a powerful divine feminine and you can create the things that you truly desire for by standing in your power and really sort of just continuing to do the things that you enjoy because that is all about joy and happiness and the more you're doing that the more you're creating that life that you truly desire so this is a beautiful card that is showing you that you are in your power staying dedicated and you know being passionate about the things that you are doing in your life as well and just continuing to move forward so really really beautiful cards that have come out here so what we're going to do now we are going to bring in um as well we are going to bring in the um, this deck is called, let's have a look. It's called when soul connections, when two hearts meet, soul connections, when two hearts meet. So we are going to bring this in to see what is going on in relation to your journey. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the divine feminines today? Right. So the cards that have come out. Wow. So the first card is 1111. So you may be seeing 1111 in relation to your journey as well. And it says 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So this is powerful. You know, again, we are in Libra energy. That is all about the balance and harmony as well in relation to the relationships. So, you know, this is showing you that this is a time of helping to bring balance when it comes to your twin flame journey as well balance is also coming in a lot for the divine masculines so they are working on really finding that balance in their life and you know it's an important number if you are seeing this it's an important number in relation to your journey that is going to that is showing you that harmony and balance is coming in for both counterparts so for your divine masculine and also for you the divine feminine and the next card that came out is tested and it says your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. So divine feminine, you know, that was necessary delays that are happening. That's about you, you know, your strengths and your weaknesses being tested as well, you know, and your faith and also your, your sort of your perseverance and determination and your faith, you know, in relation to the knowing that you, that union is coming in. So, you know, you may feel that you are being tested on this journey, but it is all just to help you to continue to stand strong to continue to stand in your power as a divine feminine and then the next card that came out is the bond card so this is about that bond that is between you and your divine masculine a love bond grows stronger over time so this is powerful this is showing you that the love bond that you have with your divine masculine is actually growing stronger over time even if you may be in separation that bond that you have is growing stronger over time because you are releasing the fears you're releasing 
the things that have held you back, the conditions that you've tried to put, that you've known to put on love for all this time. And you're releasing those. And as you do, opening up more to unconditional love. And that helps that bond to grow stronger between you and your divine masculine. So this is showing you that the bond that you have is growing stronger over time with your Divine Masculine. And the last card that came out is Connection. And it says your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Really, really beautiful. So the angels are showing you here that the connection that you have with your Divine Masculine is eternal and unbreakable. There is nothing that can come in the way of this love that you have with your Divine Masculine. And it is about understanding that, you know, everything that is happening on your journey journey right now is really happening to help you both to get to where you're truly meant to be. And, you know, there may be delays in communication. There may be delays in reunion, but it is all happening for a reason. So it's about you understanding that, understanding things from a higher perspective as a, as a divine feminine and knowing that, you know, every journey is different. And what, whatever is going on in your particular journey, it's partly what you and your divine masculine both signed up for, but it is also happening to help to get you both to where you're truly meant to be. But so you are being asked to know that the connection that you have is eternal and unbreakable and things are moving forward on your journey. And the bond that you have is actually getting stronger, you know, as you keep moving forward on your path. So really powerful that those cards have come out. And so what we're going to do now to finish off, we're going to bring in in a divine masculine 101 message for you from your divine masculine so thank you angels what messages are coming through from the divine masculines today what messages are coming through from the divine masculines to the divine feminines okay um so your divine masculine is saying to you today okay i get mad at myself about how i treat you so your divine masculine is saying they get mad at themselves for how they treat you you know we had the card of that feeling of loss of that pain as well you know during this time of separation this is when they realize that you know the way that they've treated you or you know the way they treat you when they go quiet sometimes you know it re it does affect them it, it does they get mad at themselves but you know and that is what they're trying to tell you and they're also saying you know i do long for you even if I may be doing all those things or not communicating or, you know, I do long for you. And they're also saying, I dream about you too. So they are dreaming about you. You know, if you're dreaming about them, they are letting you know that they are dreaming about you too. And then we are going to bring in as well the Divine Masculine Silence Deck to see what they would like you to know during this time of silence. So thank you, angels. Or if you are in communication, they may have some times of, you know, just being quiet sometimes. So just to see what they want you to know. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through from the Divine Masculines? Okay, so a few cards have jumped out here. So the first card that came out is, I am sorry for blocking you. It was just easier for me. So your divine masculine is saying they're sorry for blocking you. It was just easier for them. You know, they are going through that pain as we saw in their cards. And, you know, and they, they really, they are sorry about the way that they treat you. They get mad at themselves at the way that they treat you. And, you know, it's powerful that this has come out as well. So they are apologizing. They're feeling bad about the way that they treat you. And they are saying, that it was just easier for them at the time and they're also saying you inspire me to become a better person so they are letting you know that you are inspiring them to make changes in their life you know to keep moving forward towards you their divine feminine to work on letting go of the things that need to go in their life so that they can be with you so you are inspiring them to become a better person and they're also saying you make me happier and healthier so why i am Am I running? I feel like such a fool. So, you know, this is a message from them just wondering. They are thinking about all these things. You can see these messages. These are messages of them sort of wondering what's going on with them, why they do these things that they do, why they act the way that they do or say the things that they say because you actually make them healthier and happier and they wonder why they do what they do. And then the next, and they feel such a fool for doing this. And I think a card about that came out as well 
sometime this week in relation to that. And they're also saying, when I block you, I block myself from the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm dealing with my fears. So really powerful that that has come out. They know they're blocking you. They know they're blocking themselves. And they are working on dealing with those fears, that eight of swords that we saw that came out. You know, the fears that stop them from being able to move forward towards the best thing that has ever happened to them, which is you. So they are working on their fears and on working on releasing the, those fears. And they're also saying, I'm spending time outdoors. So this sort of helps to balance them as well, you know, to really sort of calm their mind as well. If they are going through all this fear, they are letting you know that they are spending time outdoors. And they are also saying, I want a new life with you. That's what I'm thinking about. You know, that's what they're thinking about. That's what they're planning as well. You know, they want this new life with you. They want to make changes in their life. They are that past that is coming back to you. Because that is what they want, a new life, a new life with you. It's what they are thinking about. You know, that's what that Six of Cups was all about. They are thinking about being that past that comes back to you because they want that new life with you. So really powerful. And they're also saying it will always be you. So Divine Feminine, they're saying to you, it will always be you. You know, even if they may be in a karmic situation, you know, they are saying that, oh, you know, whatever situation they may be in, it will always be you. So they are letting you know that, you know, no matter how they may be acting, it will always be you. And they are moving forward towards you. And they are letting you know here that, you know, they are sort of dealing with the fears. The fears are, the, are what holds them back from being with you. And they are dealing with this because they know that for them, it will always be you. And we are going to finish off with a message from you, the Divine Feminine. What would you like to say to your Divine Masculine? So thank you, angels. Wow. Really jumping out with the Divine Feminines here. Let's see what these cards are. So I'm learning to be patient. Wow. So Divine Feminine, you're saying to your Divine Masculine, I am learning to be patient. You know, on this journey, I know you're dealing with your fears. I know you have a lot sort of going on in your life. You had need to walk away from certain things. You need to change your life. I am learning to be patient. So that's you sort of standing in your power as a Divine Feminine. And, they're also, and you're also saying, I'm sorry, I rushed you. This really jumped out. You're also saying to your Divine Masculine, I'm sorry, I rushed you. I tried to get you to, you know, move forward towards me and try to make things happen, trying to control the situation. I'm sorry, I rushed you. I am learning to be patient. And you're also saying, I feel your love. So you feel that love that your divine masculine has. You know, as a divine feminine, you know in yourself that they have this love for you. They may not be telling you, but you know it because you feel that within you. And you're also saying, talk to me. So you know, wow, this is powerful. You're saying, I miss your voice. Talk to me. You know, and you just want that communication. And I completely understand this. You know, same situation. You are saying, I miss your voice. Talk to me. So this is just you sort of just wanting that chance to have that conversation, to just hear the, their voice to for them to talk to you. So this is what you are saying to your divine masculine. I miss your voice. Talk to me. Really beautiful. And you're also saying, I will never give up. So Divine Feminine, you're saying to your Divine Masculine, you know, I'm learning to be patient and, you know, I, I will never give up on, on us or on, on this journey because I feel that love that you send me. I feel, I feel the love that we share. I know the bond that we have, you know, this beautiful love that we have. And I know that we are going to have the most beautiful life, you know, the Ten of Pentacles uh, life, you know, those that which is coming in for us. So you're saying to your Divine Masculine, I will never give up. So your divine masculine is saying to you, divine feminine, it will always be you. Nobody else, it will always be you. And you are saying to your divine masculine, I will never give up. So I really hope you have a great day, guys. Really beautiful messages. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend as well. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.